<laughs> welcome back to Only Friends. Welcome, welcome back. Carly, how was your Christmas? It was hopefully so good. Yep. So many, you know, gift cards. I, I will say, okay, so we're pre-recording. That's why we were joking yeah. kind of about this, but. I'm not joking. <laughs> I, I feel like my, okay, so I'm going home for Christmas. We're going to Vegas and I feel like my mom's going to get me edibles, <laughs> which is like such a funny concept because like, what do you mean? Didn't you ask for them? Not this year. Oh, okay. No, I, I don't know if I ever really asked. What were you saying on Good Influences? I, mean, I bought my mom my edibles and then she, now she's using them. I was talking about this, like these like Delta 8 gummies oh, okay, that my mom okay, got. Okay, she okay. did get me those for Christmas, but I don't think I, I mean, I didn't ask for those. Got it. Yeah. Santa. Santa, baby. Lucy, you little stoner. I still don't know what to get my parents, even though this is like literally coming out after, but oh, no idea. Get some skims. <laughs> yeah. Matching holiday skims. I feel like they don't like wear pajamas. Yeah, they wear jeans. <laughs> in bed <laughs> they sleep in jeans <laughs> yeah they're all like, parents just I, sleep in jeans i also don't wear pajamas like i wear literally like a giant t-shirt to bed and that's really it but like well, i never have like a, I, mean, I, I don't have a I'm set not wearing them to bed but like oh you're not oh yeah you will you sleep naked yeah like i wear them to once lounge. the sun goes down i'm like pj Four, time 4 30 p.m <laughs> yeah i know that's a, i do want like some nice pajamas yeah but i'm also like i have one set that i got from probably the A-list or something. One of those old times we went. Like Also a long time the one ago. I got you for. Um, that too. But that's not like, it's like a button up, right? Yeah, but. In shorts. Like I can't wear that. Why? <laughs> it's too revealing. What? I'm kidding. <laughs> I just like, yeah, that, I still have it by the way. Yeah. I don't have like a. Is it in the special box? <laughs> no, it's in my pajama drawer. I just haven't worn that in a while. Those are great. They're so cozy, but they I are. prefer a pant. That's, yeah, that's why I don't like shorts in my house because it's always so cold at my house. Yeah. But I have one thing of pajamas and I'm like, I, I feel like I could have more, but I'm just yeah. not a pajama girl. I'm just like a big t shirt and sweats until I go to bed, take the sweats off. Try it out. Okay. Should I get some skims? <sighs> yeah. Okay. Should, yeah, be like, guys, treat yourself. I'm try. Treat yourself to some. Why? Skims. Well, we're going to Prada after this. I was going to a Prada they set. No, they literally I have cannot. Prada PJs. TJ pointed them out to me when we were there the other day. And I was like, I don't even want to see how much money these are. Do we know? I have no idea. How much How much are they like their clothes? Expensive. Okay. Well, it depends on like what you're getting. But I think even the like white tank top has to be like $400. That I don't understand. I mean, me either. Wait, does it have like the little Prada thing on it? Mm -hmm. Okay, that I kind of get. <laughs> but like, yeah, but like I've, <laughs> I know I wouldn't buy it, but I've seen clothes at designer stores that have, or just like a plain, like a, Tur a black turtleneck. And I'm like, what is the point of spending thousands of dollars on this when you can literally go to Target and get the same thing and get the same thing? Like I get it, like buy it for life maybe, but. Yeah, but like a white t-shirt, you're gonna have that for six months tops. Those pit stains. Literally. There's nothing you can do about There's them. There's nothing you can do about them. I feel like I'm gonna pit stains on this, by the way. Is your heat on? Yeah, I'm cold. Girl, it's like 80 degrees outside. I'm freezing. <laughs> I'm gonna literally pass so, out. Well, it, I saw a tweet about it the other day. It was like, tis the season for it to be warmer outside than it is in your house yeah. in LA, yeah. which is so true. Our house just stays so cold. Yeah, same. It feels like perfect in here for me. Yeah. It I'm, is 75 degrees out though, I will say. Oh, right yay. Now. Okay, yeah. I dressed perfect yeah, it's for a the gorgeous, occasion. Yeah, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Gorgina. Um, did you want to talk about Prada though? You said you wanted to talk. Oh yeah, well, I can talk about, about it now. Okay. <clears throat> well, when we went to Prada, weeks ago <laughs> yeah oh yeah <laughs> and i got courtney her puffer which by the way she loved um tj was upstairs where the men's stuff is and then he came down he was like he showed me a picture of himself he's like look at how sick these sunglasses are and i was like oh are you gonna get them and he was like i don't know and then he like sent me a picture one of the photos that he took of himself in them like later that night he's like hint hint yeah and so i was like i'm just gonna get him these because i also <laughs> have no idea what to get him for christmas yeah it's tough um i it, it's really tough because his birthday's october then our anniversary is november mm. and then christmas december so I, like i can't get him clothes every single time yeah well <laughs> i know can. it's funny because i'm always every like time. what i want yeah yeah <laughs> but he I think that this would be a good gift and it's obviously like something he wants meets the threshold and i think that i'll just get like or i i will get i did get <laughs> <laughs> i know it's so um hard. like new white socks oh because he's been like talking about he's like oh these socks blah, blah 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 so i was like okay i'll get like a really nice thing and then like a nice little stocking stuffer vibe that's so funny i just saw i think it was like a thread on reddit it was like literally what do you get the men in your life for christmas because i have no idea and so many comments were like honestly like if you're an adult like not a kid socks and underwear, underwear that they 
like the style that they yeah. wear them in is like perfect. No, it's like, so great. Literally Nolan said that too. He was like, if you don't know what you're getting me like, I would love some. I was like, okay. I know, but then I'm like, what sucks? No, I don't know. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I already got him his gifts. What are they? I got him AirPods because we both oh, left right. them. Yes. Oh, I didn't tell you all well, that. I can tell it on the pod because this is after Christmas, but it's actually really funny. So um, we both left our AirPods. I think I mentioned this in Alabama. We went to uh, Matt's wedding and <laughs> I saw there was like a Black Friday sale for the AirPod 2 or second generation pros or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's like the noise canceling ones. It was like, okay, sick. So I bought two and I wanted to use mine right away, obviously, oh. because I lost mine too. So I wanted a pair. Um, so I told him, I started using them after I was at Joe's house. So I was like, I just mentioned, I don't even know if he would notice I was using them, but I mentioned, I was like, oh, Joe, let me borrow these to see if I like them. <laughs> I've just been wearing them ever since. Like I'm just totally lying. Well, what if he buys a pair for you? Um, I don't think he, I have like a, I think I know what he's going to get. What? I feel like it's like something to do like the kitchen. I don't know. (laughs) No, not like for me, but like a, like a decoration, like something that I've like pointed out. Like I've sent him links to stuff on Etsy that I kind of like and stuff. Like a a painting? No, I saw these little like ceramic, like utensil holders that are really cute cute and like kitschy kind of like hand painted. So I've like sent him some of those and I just know he's gonna do something like that because that's like okay. very his like love language. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> so, I would die. Why if he got are you just like I got my own pair of AirPods? <laughs> because I think I want him to be super shocked. Okay, I don't think he has any idea. <laughs> and I also for like little stocking stuffers, I'm gonna get him the <laughs> silencer on the Owala bottle. Oh, nice. <laughs> just nice, like a little nice. thing. He's like also obsessed with that cocoa butter chapstick that I wear. Nice. So I'm gonna get little him some stocking. Yeah, voice. just like little stocking stuffers. I don't know, maybe a couple of things. No, those are cute. Like an Apple Watch and the stocking well, stuffer. We'll see <laughs> what else is at the Prada store today. Yeah, stocking stuffer. <laughs> Get him a Prada t-shirt. Here's, do you want me to buy you the Prada collar that your dad has forbid me from getting you for the past two years? How much is it? Like $700. That's crazy. I know. That's so funny. And like she never wears a collar either. <laughs> <laughs> Only on walks. Just to show it off a little bit. No, she's not even on walks because she has a harness. Oh yeah. <laughs> So what would be the point? Just for it to be a cute. picture. Yeah. No, it's you like return so it after. insane. That's your whole month of therapy. I know. That'd be worth worth it. Yeah, no, it is. You therapy. should get her that first talking stuffer. Who? Paris. I should. <laughs> yeah, since you're now making seven hundred dollars. Yeah, month. that's my girl math. So I'm taking a pause on therapy right now because you're her auntie. I just feel like I don't have. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I just feel like I don't have much to talk about, and I I'm like spending so much money on it. It's like yeah. literally for me, it's like seven hundred something dollars a month, and it has been worth it one hundred percent so far. But lately, I've just been like, I need a break because yeah. I have nothing to talk about. Um, and I've just felt like really good overall. Um, and so my girl math brain is saying i'm making 700 dollars a month now oh it's by true. not i mean i've been going for so damn long yeah it's like hello have you calculated how much money you've spent? i don't want to know i really don't okay, you've been know. going for six years yeah but it hasn't always been that expensive it's definitely gone up with the okay let's like let's do like an average okay let's say 600 dollars a month a month sure for 600. 12 months yep times times six, six. Is it, just tell me. So take a guess. 30 grand. More. 80 grand. Less. <sighs> hmm. So you're saying I can buy a car. <laughs> you, um, you could buy a Tesla. Oh, 45,000. 43. God. That's pretty crazy. I literally just like funded her whole life. <laughs> <laughs> $43,000 over six years. It's like nothing. <laughs> no, but that's, that's crazy. Like imagine like just having that many clients just making that money. Like she's, I don't know if she's technically a freelancer. Like a, a private practice, is it? Yes. Or is she at like a- um... No, it's just her, yeah. She just has like her own little office, which I haven't been to since 2019. That's well, 2020, wild. I guess, but. 700 a month. <sighs> and she's gotta have at least like 10 people. Oh, so many, I'm sure. Because like, it's hard to reschedule. Like if I need to reschedule, it's like, I don't know if I'm gonna have an opening type of thing. I don't understand how therapists can do that. I feel like I would be like so, I'm just not cut out for it. Yeah. I would be like so riddled with like anxiety thinking about other people's problems. See, I would, I feel like I would like it. I love no, like understanding why people think the way they do. And like- I know, but like think about a situation I mean, that's yeah. going on in our life. Like so much of it is so confusing. You're like, why are you no. acting this way? I know, but yeah, but I think a therapist's brain just works different. No, I know. But like yeah, if, I agree. If I went in with my brain, 
<laughs> you'd be like, why are you doing this? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, know, but like yeah. if I was a therapist, I think it would be really cool. Totally. Cause I'd be like, I slayed their life. I know. Maybe that's how my therapist Like you're feels. walking away a success story. Kind of. <laughs> we'll see. I have a <laughs> mental breakdown in like a month. <laughs> and like, you can't get a hold of her. <laughs> yeah. That's like the only thing I'm just like, what if I just, I mean, it's kind of a crazy thought, but it's like, what if I just, all my anxiety comes back like full, full no. force. But it's like, I don't even think I've really like. I also think like it's, I don't think it's going to come on like suddenly. I think like after weeks or like a month, you'll be like, I miss having these conversations, even though I kind of felt like I didn't feel like I was getting th anything from it the past, like however long. Yeah. And you can always just be like, maybe I should check in with her. Yeah. I mean, I've done it before. I stopped yeah. going for like maybe a year or two and then I went back. So we'll see. Okay. So maybe we can knock off like three grand. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So like 40 40, $40,000. Yeah. It's not bad. God, that is insane to think about. I don't even want to add, like, I'm just adding that up. Like imagine adding up other things like dinners over the past, since we moved here. Oh girl. I look at that <laughs> like, every year. You do? Yeah. Oh, when yeah, I do my little spreadsheet. <sighs> What's it look like? Are you always um, like, oh, or are you like, no, that makes sense. Yeah. It's not like crazy. Like I would like, t well, TJ and I do it together now. And when I did like all our expenses, I think we like, allotted like two thousand dollars a month for like meals oh okay but that we were also going to like dinner all the time with like those big groups yeah and sometimes like you'll like totally someone will pay for everything so like if you're yeah. that person then it's gonna yeah. be way higher i think the obviously. average was like a thousand dollars oh okay but it's like we don't have kids like yeah exactly these are things that we like doing we okay like so buy the seven hundred dollar dollar if you don't have kids no i know <laughs> we could split it but i literally just did like i i bought like myself my christmas gifts mm-hmm that I wanted and, oh, I got a jacket. I'll show it to you. A jacket? Yeah. Instead of like buying a new Prada bag this year, I bought this jacket that I've wanted for like five years. From where? It's by a brand called Sax Pots. You're gonna see it and you're gonna be like, that's so you. <laughs> yeah, probably. But I've had it favorited. Sax Pots? Yeah. Like sex pot? My little sex pot? Sax Pots. I heard know. that word term, sex pot? Yeah. What's that from? I don't know. Sounds like a <laughs> very like Midwestern way of being like a sexy bitch. <laughs> no, it sounds like um like smut. Oh, Ooh, the, yeah. my little sex bot, sex pot, not bot. Yeah. That's weird. Sex pot, sex bot. <laughs> my sexy robot. Um, but yeah, I've had it favorited on multiple websites. <clears throat> like you can scroll back through my wish list and it is the number one. Wow. From like well, that's when you know it's like years. worth it. I know. And yeah. And I get like the discount. So. Oh, yes. I mean, hello. I know. Okay, fun. It, it, still. Yeah. Still a lot, but. You don't have kids. Exactly. You're not paying for therapy. Exactly. <laughs> like, should, be. should be. Should <laughs> be. Yeah, but you're not. So girl math. Making, I, making money. <laughs> I shop <laughs> instead of going to yeah, therapy. Retail therapy. It's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Wow. <sighs> retail therapy is a thing. Mm, sure. I love shopping. There is no serotonin in my life I get <laughs> more of than when a package comes and it's filled with clothing. <laughs> I think that's called an addiction. <laughs> not, <laughs> not a therapy. <laughs> Yeah, because you're not working through any Guys, problems. It's not my fault. I have an addiction. <laughs> you're just you're not working through problems. You're just getting something to oh yeah get that serotonin boost. No, I don't think I order stuff because I have like I I no, I don't really think you have an addiction. I'm just I like being funny. If TJ's like gone for a couple days, I'm like, well, what else am I supposed to do? I know it's tough. I'll just shop. <laughs> I know I'm such like an Etsy horror right now. Ooh, I'm just all over. You know, I was watching the boys. Um, I continued watching it after you left the crossword puzzle. Oh yeah. And they were confirming that hints are the same. Like they are because I was one doing one last <gasps> night. I was, yeah, I was trying to do the one. Well, it's today. It was Tuesdays. Oh, okay. And <laughs> well, a couple <laughs> of words it's we okay. did are also the words for today. That's why Mike can do it so well. He's memorized the clues. Yes. Well, they were saying that Etsy is a really popular one because oh. of the letters in the word. It's a really good one to like put on the ends of words that need like random letters. Etsy? E-T-S-Y. Like oh, I thought you meant just that word, Etsy. I was like, just plugging that in on all the four letters. Oh, no, it was like the answer to something. <laughs> but they it. were saying that it's like used frequently Whoa. because it's like a word with random letters in it. There are little things I didn't even think about. But to be fair, I don't really do crosswords ever, except the yeah. mini. Because like Erin, we were talking about it yesterday and she was you like- You should do the one I play, Daily Crossword. Yeah. It's so funny. They like, I, I, like I, I did that it. one for like years. I used to do the New York Times crossword like all the time. 
Um, but then I stopped. I got too good at it. Yeah. <laughs> My time was just like no, 30 just seconds. Like, oh, so. I can never finish them. Like yeah. I always have like a couple left and then I would just like Google what it is and then be like, okay, I yeah. finished. Me with the many. Yeah. <laughs> Genuinely, I'm like Googling it sometimes. The daily crossword, I played that forever, but they added this feature that like auto fills words if you get enough of them. I don't like that. Not words, letters. Okay. If you get like enough of the words correct in a row. But I'm like, how do I turn this off? No, I think I'm pretty sure I downloaded it and I didn't like it because of that. Yeah. I, like, I don't want this it like wasn't cheat. wasn't always like that. Okay. I'm sure you could turn it off maybe. Yeah. I don't know how though. Huh. I just like don't play it enough to care that yeah. much. I think but I'm gonna stick to the New York Times. I want to like. I want to challenge the boys good. to a Sudoku. Ooh, I love Sudoku. Me too. And they were like, we don't like them. And I'm like, I think it's because you're too dumb. <laughs> I'm so good at them. Me too. I, I used to do them on, pl okay, back in our day before technology. <laughs> you get the books. Yes, I literally would go to like Barnes and Noble, yeah. get like a word search book yeah. and like a Sudoku. 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 Ugh, I'm literally my mom. I can't pronounce anything. <laughs> Chipotle. Chipotle, <laughs> Target. Um, also like, what else was there? Just like little word games so I that's loved what you would do books. on planes yeah like you would have those little books at least i did that's funny that maybe everyone did at our age i don't know i had a sudoku one for sure yeah i have a sudoku and app. a word search yeah me too oh me too but they have them on the nyt oh that's right mm -hmm. but you need internet so if you don't have internet on your flight that's true it's like well i think there was an app that you didn't need internet for to play something i think it honestly might be daily crossword she's like i know she's back forward your uh, motherly me. instincts were wrong. Yeah. I'll never be a mom. <laughs> <laughs> God, Keep spending that money, girl. You're never gonna God. have a kid. Yeah. <laughs> so we just found out another friend is having a baby. Who? And TJ had, Can you say? I, I don't wanna. Can you do this? I'll tell you after. Okay, um, don't forget. Is it someone I know? Not really. Okay. Um, But TJ had like a full existential crisis. He was like, everyone is oh my having God. babies. Like, all of his friends are having kids and he was just like i don't know what to do <laughs> like in terms of having a baby yeah he's like well like one of his friends sent him a video of like his kid and him like setting up a tree and he was like to me like that's so cute and so nice and i would love that and like i have such a great relationship with my dad but he's like i also just don't care yeah and so i but i think he's like it's like mourning the loss of like of, like friends your life yes. changing your friendships changing yeah and I don't know. I it's, felt kind of bad for him. <laughs> for him? Yeah. <laughs> well, it is true. Like we're in our thirties. I feel like this is like the time it happens, but also it's like so weird. you guys could literally have a baby in like three years if you wanted. You know what I mean? It's way too soon. No, but I'm saying like, no, it still seems far away, of but it's, course. you're still going to be at the age where you can have a baby. But I think his thing also is like, I don't care to yeah. ever do that necessarily. I know. I think it's more like, I am going to miss my friends. Yeah. The only thing, actually Nolan brought this up to me and I was like, mm. don't even start with this <gasps> now. Cause like he doesn't really want kids either. Yeah. So like, not that we're like, you know, married or anything. Not yeah, that it matters. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <I'm> so traditional. <laughs> um, but we we're just like all on the same page. Like we've both been like, yeah, we don't really want kids. Like kids annoy us, like whatever. But then he was like thinking about it a couple months ago and he was like, the only thing that's bothering me is like, who, like, when we're old, like no, that's who's going to take care yes, of that's us? That's what TJ was saying. Not like take care of us, but like who's going to be there and like be around us and like you're going to die. Oh no, what? Well, we were having a conversation about like loyalty, <laughs> okay, <laughs> and then, like friends, and he was like, "Well, if we had a kid, it would be like our built-in loyal <laughs> friend." <laughs> okay, toxic. Yeah, right. That kid would. That he, kid will go go rebellious like, at some point. He was like, "That's why people have kids, so they just like have a built-in person that is like obsessed with them and loyal to them." No, that is not what happens. <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, maybe for like ten years, and then they hate you." <laughs> no, I know. They become, become the opposite. Yeah. Actually, I think it's because like he's always like he's so so close with his parents and like was such yeah. a like I mean a little rebellious kid, but like always loved them and gets along with them and has like such a close bond with them. So like now he's like, I like, I would want that with my, like I would want a kid to have that with me mm -hmm. and be loyal to me. Like, no, that's not what happened. <laughs> that's toxic, TJ. I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> no, it is. Oh my God, fucking finally. What? I just got the picture from emo night oh my god i was wondering where those went kate me and katie cooper i was like did you get the photo because it never came to me and she was like oh no god. and it was weird because the photo booth was having like it was being weird uh -huh. um 
Only Hold been on. four days. I, got the pi- I know for fucking real. That's crazy. Usually they show up on your phone like right Immediately. after. Immediately. Yeah. They just make you wait. Like what is processing? It's- Maybe they're like, we don't want to send them yet in case they're too drunk and post it on accident. Yeah. But usually it comes right away. That's weird. Wow. I had a, <laughs> such a realistic dream that. Wait, but what are you, what's your vibe? With what? Where, what did you say back to the baby thing? Oh, I was like, oh, I never really thought about that. But like, does it make me want to have a kid? Yeah. But it is true. Like when you really think about like being 90. But that's like, then you'll have like your friend's kids to take care of you. That's true. We'll put the burden on them. Yeah. Yeah. But what friends? And, but you're not having a kid. But like, who do you need to take care of you? Like, <laughs> Emma just, doesn't you'll, want have, kids. you'll have so much money that you can just like. Oh, yeah. From not going to therapy. <laughs> like literally live at a Margaritaville and that's, have people wait on you. That's so true. You know, like there are other options. I know. I just think about like getting old and not having kids and like your spouse dies. Like not to put no, that on you, but like. That's crazy. They'd be like, we'll have each other. <laughs> yeah, but what if one of us dies? Well, I said, okay, What about stop. the last one to be no, alive? I, I said, then I, I would kill yeah, myself. that's true. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> I said to what TJ, because this is, it's very funny. He was like going on. He was like, everyone's like having babies and everyone's going to have babies. And I was like, well, we'll always have Carly. <laughs> 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 yeah i'll always yeah. be here no he, i literally said your baby that. and he he was like he died laughing <laughs> that's so cute yeah i'm so happy you said that so will you buy me some of your product mommy oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> i meant it in like the sense that you'll never have a baby he won't have to worry about you having oh kids. oh like i thought you meant no, like he literally was baby. like well what if she changes her mind <laughs> he's really spiraling oh my god i know it is tis the season it tis is. the age season like all and his friends are a bit older who are like having kids um so it's really happening does sammy want kids yes okay i think oh yeah that's like aaron's best friend at home Uh home. oh they all do oh wow so everyone yeah like yes it almost feels like do you feel like weird a little bit like should i be having kids like do you feel no not should i be having kids but it's just like no for me it's more especially people back home i'm like oh i'll miss like their kids growing up oh yeah um uh, but for me it doesn't like put pressure on me to want to have them yeah like i'm just like i think i'm in the same boat as him i'm like oh like everything's changing and we're getting old and like all these people are having kids on purpose i know on purpose is like the big thing yeah is it at this point i'd be like oh (laughs) you know what i mean (laughs) no yeah like not on purpose whatsoever yeah yeah and like we always i always think about it like when we do stuff on a whim like one time we bought like concert tickets the day of to go to a show and Mm -hmm. we're like if we had a fucking kid no way like we wouldn't be able to do and those are just like little things i know the thing that gets me though is like but like you know how much you love your dog no of course like you probably love your kids like in a different way so much more and you're so obsessed but it's like but then i also don't want that to be who i am it doesn't have to be I, but like, I don't want that. To, I don't want it to be like, oh, Erin, she has a baby. <laughs> what? Like, I don't want it to be my personality, like being a mom. It's not. Well, I, maybe you're projecting because that's how you're feeling right now with people around you. No, I just think that people love their babies so much. It becomes your identity. Yeah. Which I don't think is a bad no, thing. No, I don't think so like, if you, like, there are people in life who are like, I'm born to be a mom. Mm-hmm. And I just, I don't feel that way. No. I don't know if you feel that way. I feel like you don't. No. I think I would be a really good mom. Yeah. But like, I think I, you'd be an anxious mom. Oh, I, I, yeah. You do, you'd have, the kid would have like Munchausen by proxy. 100%. <laughs> no, even when Brittany, I was at the hospital with my best friend just had a baby. Literally, the baby was like seven hours old. And I would, literally was just sitting there like thinking he would like cry and just like turn red. And I'm like, he's dying. Yeah. And I'm like, I can't believe they just let you take it home. No, it's insane. Like, uh, yeah, you never think about that. And I'm sure once you become a mom, you're like, holy shit, I have to bring yeah. this baby home and just take care of it for the rest of its life now. Yeah. Like there's no, it's it's like a little, it's a little shocking too. It's like so different. But when you adopt an animal, it's like, this is mine now. And I have to take yeah. care of it from the moment I get it till yeah. it dies. And it's like, that's, that's how you feel with the baby, but you're going to raise a fucking know. child and hopefully it doesn't die before you, but <laughs> it's just crazy. <laughs> It's so because that's the only thing I can relate it to is like adopting yeah. an animal. I think for me, it's less about like, oh, I'm anxious people are having babies. I'm like anxious about like that's showing our age. Like I'm yeah. like, oh, life is moving so fast. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but it's still like the beginning of it all. Totally, you know what I mean. So I don't know. Plus, we live in LA. 
30s we're are the children. 20s, early 20s. We're babies. literally like young be- fetuses. Well, maybe I'll get pregnant by okay. the end of the year. We'll see by the end of the year. <laughs> in a couple days. <laughs> a couple days from now. Yeah. Um, I want to say I had the most realistic dream and it's so bad. I had the most realistic dream that Taylor Swift released a song about Travis, Kelsey. <gasps> And it was just as bad as the jokes were on TikTok. You know, people were like joking about the songs oh, that she no. would write. I can't tell you like what it sounded like, but it was like, it was a mix between people who don't listen to Taylor Swift listening to Taylor Swift. Yeah. And like the like, it's my birthday and you didn't show up. I'm sad. You know, that kind of thing. And also with like that's, field goal references. That's not a dream. That's it was a, a nightmare. nightmare. <laughs> yes. It was crazy. Oh no. Yeah. Did you wake up like in a cold sweat? Yeah, like. <gasps> Oh, thank God it's not real. Yeah. No, I just literally remembered like an hour ago, to be honest. That's scary. It was scary. Okay, well, let's do this day in history. And then... Okay. What? How much time have we been chatting? 30 minutes. Wow. I know. Okay. It's kind of a quick this day in history, because like, who the fuck's doing anything at this time? True. But we have two special birthdays. Um, Timothy Chalamet. (gasps) Oh my God, Kylie Jenner's baby's stepdaddy. Yep, he's 28. <laughs> Wait, I never really thought about that. Like he is, do you think he like takes Does care stuff of the with kids? the kids? Yeah, probably. I feel like they've been like together long enough. He's just like a little boy. Yeah. <laughs> That's just really funny. I have to see. <gasps> God, God blesses you. Thank you. You're and welcome. then our queen, Haley Williams. Oh. She's 35 now. Wow. Old heck. <laughs> we're, we're really aging over here. I know. Gosh. That's no Taylor's gonna be thirty four. Yeah, so Haley's a year older. Well, thank God we're just still younger than them. Thank God. I thought maybe we had surpassed. If and Taylor older. Swift was younger than me, I would literally hang myself. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but then again, it's like, what are we trying to prove no, here? I know, I know. It would just be like such a weird thing. I know, because she's like the most. I would argue she's the most famous pop artist. One hundred percent in the past, like, like decade. Globally. Yeah. Yeah. Like, do you think that she meets the Michael Jackson fame, the Beatles fame? I feel like she does. Yes. I feel like it's even bigger because of social media. 100% she does. Because I feel like I have this thing in my mind. saying that she didn't? It must have been Mike. It had to have been Mike. Yeah. Idiot. Are you serious? Like, when did Michael Jackson sell sell out the Staples Center four nights in a row? (laughs) (laughs) Never. No, I'm kidding. He he definitely would have, like, right now. But Mm, Yeah. I don't know. I think that people just don't want to admit it. Maybe. But I think that she is. She has to be. Yeah. Everyone knows who she is. She went is. to Brazil. Literally. She's fucking famous. The place everyone wants you to go. Yeah. Come, come to, to Brazil. Brazil. Yeah. That's when you know you made it. You it's actually go to Brazil and so, perform. So, and have a terrible time. Yeah. Poor girl. I know. Poor people. Not uh, poor people. I mean, poor people that were the poor people that were there. Harley thinks I, people I, in Brazil are poor. I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen enough 90 day fiance. It's crazy <laughs> over there. <laughs> um, okay. Come to Brazil. Then for entertainment, we have, I feel like I've, I knew this existed, but I like forgot. And it was the masked dancer. What? Which just would That's be. That's a masked singer, but different. Yeah. Like the, what? How the fuck would you ever know? I know. And then I was like, okay, well they must've had like famous dancers on. No. <laughs> Wait, so it was just people with insane costumes yes. dancing and yes. you had to guess what celebrity it was? Yes, and like the How? literally the people who were fucking the the hosts or the judges were still Ken. They were? Ken, Paula Abdul, Brian Austin Green, and Ashley Tisdale. Like, how are any of these people supposed to know who's underneath yeah, that? Yeah, I want to see wh- how they guessed. Yeah, because there's okay. no fucking way unless and the clues gave it away. These were, there was one dancer. And was there one season of the show? Yes. Okay, that's what I figured. And okay, uh, Gabby Douglas was on it. She's a gymnast. I, oh, two dancers, sorry. I don't know this person's name. Maxim. Okay. Schmer Kavoski, ballroom dancer. But like, who's guessing that? They had to have been like, all right, we got to switch this up and do singers. Yeah. Because that makes way more sense. Mackenzie Ziegler. Well, this I think was post. So it was like a spinoff. Oh, that's so stupid. Oscar De La Hoya. (laughs) Who's that? He is, he was a boxer. He's um a boxer. Atiana, I think that's her name. Atiana, Travis Barker's like stepdaughter. Oh. That's her dad. Okay. Um, Jordan Sparks. What? Vinny from Jersey Shore. Huh? Like, could you imagine? You have to guess? Like they, they the must clues have to be, this yeah, literally. Time. Like the clues have to be insane I for the show. Brian McKnight, Elizabeth Smart, Bill Nye. <laughs> Bill Nye and Ice T. Did you see Bill Nye's 
his top song on Spotify streaming was uh, Bill Nye the Science Guy. I did see that. I was like, is this fake? I don't know. I still don't know. Kind of slay. Um, okay. I just thought it was really Bill crazy. Nye. And like, dancing. I kind of need to like watch to see how it all worked. Because I, like, there's no way that you could, without the clues, there is no way. Physically, mentally, no way. No way. Unless That's you are a, like a body language expert. And yeah. you've studied like every person in Hollywood and the way they move. It doesn't make any sense. Imagine no. it's like the masked <laughs> gingerbread house maker and they're just making gingerbread houses no, yeah. with crazy. Like, how are you going to guess who it is? You'll never know. Interesting. If okay. they did it with like famous dancers, it would make sense. I agree. Not but that, like, I mean, who's going to know Ice T? I don't know. They need to put Charlie D'Amelio in there. Yeah. Addison Ray, some TikTok dances. No, 100%. Make it make sense. Who else is even a dancer? Oh, Allison Stone. Like, what's her face? The literally the people on the Huffs. Oh yes. Julianne and yep. Derek. Yep. Ariana Maddox. <laughs> but still, how would you then look and be like <laughs> I don't know. There's no way. Oh, that's the way she twirls. <laughs> no, there's a reason it lasted one season. Yeah, no, for real. Okay. And then um the movie adaption of Chicago, which is just so good. And Chasing Cameron. Do you remember that show? Oh yes, the Netflix loved it doc about cameron dallas it was like a tv yeah docu-series yeah like tv show oh yeah it was, um, i really liked that actually i know just because it's pop culture give us more give us more yeah what is cameron dallas doing these days i wonder no idea i wonder if he has any kids let's look at could his you IG. imagine i mean Cam. probably do you think he like made lifetime money from all the stuff he did i don't know that's don't why know i'm either. like what is he doing did he have a youtube channel i feel like he did that for a while I have no I can't idea. remember. After MadCon, I feel like I don't know anything about him. Does he like model, you think? Probably. Because he was, mo oh yeah, he did model. He's probably still doing that, maybe. He was getting, he was going to like M Milan and shit. <laughs> like he was definitely getting paid well. Mm. I feel like Noah Beck's kind of the new like Cameron Dallas in that sense. Oh, T. I got an email from Reformation. It literally looks like they're like contacting me about something specific. I hate them. <laughs> They're so weird. Stop doing that to me. Okay, we can move on to Am I the Asshole. All right, let's see what we got. I have a couple like holiday ones. Yeah, me too. Mine are all holiday. Okay, you want to start? Um, sure. Or I can. I can. I can start. No, I, I mean, I am I the asshole for not changing holiday plans so my wife can see her family and telling her to travel alone? Wait, say that again. Kind of, I, it was kind of fast for my am brain. Am I the asshole for changing holiday plans so my wife can see her family and telling her to travel alone? Okay. It will make sense like when I read it. Got it. My wife and I have been married for 10 years and have two kids, six and three. We moved to a new city for my wife's job before we had kids, so we are no longer closer to either of our families. We had previously lived close enough to both of our families that we could see each of them during the holidays, but since we moved, we have to pick one or the other. My parents also moved after they retired, so now we would have to fly to see either of our families. So we came up with a plan to rotate holidays every other year. Of course, the last couple years, we have not seen either of them. Two years ago, it was supposed to be my family's year, but we didn't travel for Christmas because we didn't want to travel with our youngest. Lastly, last year we were supposed to, oh my God. Last year was supposed to be my wife's year, but we didn't travel, I'm assuming because of COVID. Yeah. So this year I was excited to finally see my family again for Christmas. We booked our flights months ago and I've been looking forward to it. My wife was on board with it until a few weeks ago. She was talking with her mom one day and mother and mother-in-law, so his mother-in-law, mm -hmm. mentioned that all of my wife's siblings were coming to their place for Christmas. My wife's siblings are scattered across the US and it's rare that they are all together in one place. Ugh. When my wife found out, she felt extremely left out and asked if we could switch our plans to see her family instead, even though we already had plans to see my family and it was my scheduled year. I was kind of upset by this because I felt that my wife was putting her family above mine and going against our holiday schedule agreement when we already had it planned. We kind of thought about it because I didn't want to change our plans and she felt I was being too rigid in our planning and that this was a special circumstance because her entire family would be there and that never happens. Both of us miss seeing our families for Christmas since it's been three to four years since we spent holidays with them. My wife is continuing to push me to change our plans and I don't want to budge. <laughs> there is some sort of yeah. stuff happening outside. Oh. Uh, that is a chainsaw. They were like, trimming trees outside my place and it was so loud. That's gotta be I it. I was about to do ads and I was like, well, can't. <laughs> 
Um, when she brought it up again the other day, I finally kind of snapped at her. I told her that if she wants to go see her family, she can do it, but she'll be going alone. I told her I will take the kids to see my family and she can go see hers by herself. Kind of a nice break. <laughs> she, I know. She told me that I was being a jerk about it and that I should be more understanding of her desire to see her family. I told her she was completely disregarding my family and that I offered and that I offered a compromise, but I do not want to change our entire plan just because her siblings decided they want to get together this year. Okay, rude. I told her next year we will all go see her family just like we agreed, but she didn't like that because she doesn't think her siblings will be there next year. We have come to a resolu we haven't come to a resolution yet, and my wife is pissed at me. Um oh, God, this Did it is cover something. Yeah, there's like this fucking thing on notes that like covers words. Oh. Um, she's pissed at me for not changing our plans and for thinking my compromise is even an acceptable idea because she doesn't want to be away from her kids for Christmas. Am I the asshole? Well, there's a couple things going on here. First of all, I want to know why her siblings and parents like didn't tell her. Like she had to well, call I'm them like and then they were like- wondering how- She's like, oh, oh yeah, everyone's coming here. It's like, why I did she know that? I think everyone just like this, uh, this is the thing that I would like to know. How far in advance are we talking here? Yeah, I yeah, me too. Because it's like, you kind of already it's, made the plans, which sucks. Yeah. But like, but if you're like nine months out and yeah, you like booked your flight. You can definitely change totally. it. Totally. I think like the siblings all coming, it was probably just like a last minute it all worked out that way. Maybe. Or not even last minute since we don't really have a timeline. Does it say when it was posted? Or just like years ago? Years. Okay. But so like, figured. um, just in terms of like how far in advance they were planning this trip. Yeah. Because if it was like a month away and then everyone, well, I don't know. People's plans can change last minute. Like can, maybe yeah. someone's like a nurse and they were like, I actually don't have to work. We're going to make it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. um, I don't, as someone who does not have siblings and I know like, it's hard to it's relate. It's so hard, but I feel like if it were me and like I was in that position, I would just like suck it up and go with my wife's family. Oh yes, like yes. knowing that like because like we can go to my next year then because 100%. this is the only time that they're together. Yeah. Like if TJ was if we were going to see my parents and TJ was like, oh my god, like Leah and James can come for Christmas this year. Like yeah, we haven't been able to do that in so long. Then I would be like, okay, sure, let's just change no it. No problem, and then we'll I, do it next year. Yeah. Yeah, it depends because maybe they already bought flights that are non-refundable. Like we don't really know the circumstance. I feel like also, he would have said that. Yeah, well, I don't know. I, I really want to know when this was posted. Because if it was like December 7th, 2021, sure. I'd be like, okay, it's kind of late notice. I but know, but I feel like even I'd be like, we'll make it work. Yeah. Um, but it, And there's also like the thing, like I personally, I don't, I mean, I don't have kids, so I don't know this. Obviously I don't have kids, but I'd be like, okay, I'm going to go then. See you guys when we get back. When we get back, I know you want to spend Christmas with your kids, yeah. obviously. So of course, it's weird, but and it, the way he went about it was so rude. Like you can go do it, but you're not even getting the kids. Yeah, that is weird. It's very like, like why can't she bring the kids? Have the whole, you know, yeah. with the, all the family, they can see all their aunts and uncles. Yeah, and that this they like, never agreement see. thing is so crazy to me. Like he keeps being like our holiday agreement, yeah. and it's like okay, like have some flexibility. Do you have a contract? Here. Like, like this what's is, going on? The way you're harping on this is like very bizarre. I want to know the when. I want to know when so bad. I know. Like when in the year. I know. I like the grand scheme of things. It's a, Did I'm you, like, you can all be with your, I don't know. Like if I were the wife, I would be like, this would mean so, which I'm sure she did. Like this would mean so much yeah. to me. Like let's plan another trip, like sometime soon to go see your family before next Christmas. Yeah. Like something like that, which like maybe she did, who knows? Yeah. It seems like he's very like dead set on just like getting his way that he's like, and first of all, like, it's not a good compromise. Like, you're just being mean. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Wait, what's like the title? I want to see if I can find it and see the actual day. Ah, it is called, Am I the Asshole for Not Changing My Holiday Plans So My Wife Can See Her Family okay. and Telling Her to Travel Alone? Got it. Oh, yeah, it just says one year. I was hoping there'd be like, like click on something totally. and it would say the day. Well, one year from now. Yeah, but it, sometimes it does that, but it's really like September or yeah. something. Hmm. Well, if yeah, people are saying not the asshole. I agree. Yeah, neither of you have seen your families in two years. You have an agreement when it comes to holidays and already bought tickets. She was, oh, he's not the asshole. Oh. Not her. 
I don't think that he's like necessarily the asshole. I think it's just like a really complicated situation. Yeah. And like, I think he should be, cause it is like a tough spot. Like he yeah. wants to see his family. She wants to see her mm -hmm. family, but like, it seems as though her family doesn't get together ever like this. Exactly. And that's so why it's like, like a, can we change yeah. it? But who knows what the, you know, plane tickets, hotel, I don't know where they're staying. Yeah. Like maybe I feel like if that was an issue, he would have said that. I would hope so. He didn't even mention it at all. Otherwise he's totally gaslighting us. Yeah. Like he wasn't <laughs> even like the planes are, is, are, is expensive. The hotel is expensive. Like yeah. it doesn't even seem like that's a problem. Yeah. I think the problem is just like, he, just he wants, wants to, to get his way. Too. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, well. I don't know if it were me, tough. I would be like, we'll go see your me fucking too. siblings. Maybe he like hates her family. I know. <laughs> like, oh is it God. a thing? I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, I have one kind of similar in a sense. Ooh. It says, I'm I the asshole for not spending New Year's Eve with my girlfriend. The context is my friends recently invited me to another city to spend the weekend over New Year's with them. Me, 30 male, my girlfriend, 36 female, is upset because I'm not spending it with her. We have been dating for five years, and in that time, we have spent every Christmas and New Year's together, except New Year's last year when I had to work. She has moved to my home country. I literally cannot believe that we picked the same one you picked this one too yes <laughs> and like this was not posted recently no I don't like think. did you type in new year's uh i believe i did me too oh but no but there's like a shit ton yeah i know the this fact one's, like, that we picked the same one <laughs> that is wild i love okay, it go on <laughs> okay we have been dating for, we don't even talk about it. We're like, okay, so who do you think is the asshole? But like, they don't hear it. Yeah. Um, okay. We have been dating for five years. And in that time, we have spent every Christmas and New Year's together, except New Year's last year when I had to work. She has moved to my home country two years ago from hers and still doesn't have that many friends here. So she may end up spending New Year's by herself, which is not great. And I understand her not wanting to do that for the context. Okay, sorry. There's like, no. For, as for the context, I also moved to her home country for two years as well. When the invite came, I really wanted to go on a mate's trip. <laughs> so as I don't often get the opportunity for this, my thought process was I will be send spending Christmas with her, my birthday as well, which is one week before Christmas. And one week after New Year's, we'll be going on a three week holiday together where we will be together the entire time. Am I the asshole by leaving her on New Year's by herself this one year or am I warranted in the fact, warranted in the fact considering what I've posted above? Thanks for the feedback. I need an itinerary for what the mate's trip's gonna consist of. <laughs> because like with peace and love. Uh, yeah. Why are you going on a boy's trip for New Year's? It's kinda weird. New Year's is not like a trip. And like you're not it's not like a couple's trip. Yeah. That's fucking weird. It's a little weird. I wouldn't necessarily say like the fact that they have so many plans. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I could get why if he was just like abandoning her and they weren't doing anything for the holidays at all and they weren't going on like a three week trip, then mm -hmm. I would be like well, that's kind of a fucked up thing to do. I know. I'm kind of like, why can't she go? That's my I think other that's thing. a little weird. But, but like, why is it boys only? Like, like what if, are you doing? Yeah. But it's like, if we did like a girl's trip for New Year's, it'd be like, but well, we obviously no one's that. not coming because it's a girl's trip. What? Yeah. But like, we wouldn't do that. Well, yeah. It would be like, we would want our significant others to be right. included. Right. Like, that's half the fun of New Year's. Yeah, I know. I feel like New Year's is not, it's like kind of a romantic-ish yeah, holiday. Like, where the fuck are you going? I know. What are you doing? But- Drop the itinerary. Okay, so despite it being a mate's trip. Okay. Do you think he's an asshole for the situation in general? Cause like, I don't I really, don't, I mean, it does suck that she either. could be alone. It sucks yeah. that it is, she's living in a country that she doesn't have many friends yeah. in, but it's also like, I don't know, everyone's different. But for me, I'd be like sick. I'll go to bed early. <laughs> like, yeah. I'll just look at TikTok. I'll I just get high. I'll just <laughs> if I knew I was going to be alone, I would be like upset. Mm -hmm. And I would be like, why, are, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Why do you want to be with, TJ would also never want to be without me on oh, New Year's. Well, yeah. <laughs> and nor would he go like, on a Like, what if you trip. randomly was like, I'm going on a boy's trip. I would be like, Like, huh? what would your reaction be? With who, bitch? <laughs> with Taylor and. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, mm. they wouldn't. No, but just say they are. But they wouldn't. So, and I know, but like, like what if TJ they did? Like, TJ doesn't have friends that are like, let's go on a mate's trip. But what if he did? Then I. I would be like, do you want to go? <laughs> like, well, kind of, it just sounds so fun. Yeah, but he'd be like, will you come? <laughs> no, you can't come. I just, I don't, it's hard because like this scenario wouldn't happen. It might happen. Not on New Year's, it wouldn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not on New Year's. Like any other time, if I will say like, if he abandoned me for New Year's, like I would feel sad. Abandoned me? Yeah, well, that's what he's doing. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like I would feel sad. Yeah. Like who, who else would I want to spend it with? I know. 
Well, the thing for me is like, I don't even feel like I really celebrate New Year's. Yeah, but like I do. Like I go to bed early. Yeah. Oh, and you guys are always in Utah. Yeah. Like it's a whole thing. Yeah. So that makes sense. You would be abandoning our tradition. But what if you were just here every year and like didn't really do anything for New Year's? Cause that's like my vibe. I feel like I haven't been awake for midnight in like three well, years. Well, if I didn't do anything I would, and I didn't care about it, mm-hmm. then I would be like, I don't care. And I'm trying to think of, I would care. Like, I don't care about New Year's really. Like it's very whatever. Yeah. I'm not trying to go out. But if, but I also would be like, but why are you going somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Drop the itinerary. Yeah, let's see it, bitch. And like, why are you going somewhere without me? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's normal. No, People on, like, do that. on like New Year's right. Eve. It'd be like, oh, you're going on a boy's trip for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, why are for you Christmas. doing that? Well, for some people, it's like a party. It's not more like romantic. It's like more of a party night. What's going on? Why are you ignoring me? TJ? <laughs> He said, I forgot to tell you yesterday because you were recording your pod and then I forgot. So you know how this weekend I was looking around all over the internet to find leaked OnlyFans stuff? I found some on this weird ass British porn site. (laughs) And then yesterday I went back to the site to see if it was down and I saw this video on the front page and I was like, wait a sec, this looks exactly like the Good Influences studio. (laughs) And it was this video of this girl squirting all (gasps) over the chair and rug in the studio. Which chair? He said, I can't look it up now because I'm in the office. But if you go to the website and type in like Pillow Talk Podcast, you can probably find it. I don't know whose chair that is, but. You need to send a screenshot to the room. If it's Mike's. (laughs) No, we have to find what chair it is. If it is Mike's chair. (laughs) Please send in the screenshot. If it is Mike's chair. No, I have to. He will genuinely throw up. No, I have to find the video first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To see which chair. (laughs) Can't believe we're watching porn after this. (laughs) <laughs> oh my god uh, that is so man funny. that stuff is just getting around ew uh, okay <laughs> <laughs> this one <sighs> was interesting okay this happened three days ago i had around 10 people ages 21 to 35 over for a party at my apartment for, oh, sorry. Am I the asshole for having a noisy New Year's Eve party? Okay, I was like, is it giving too much away? Yeah. Why isn't she reading the dial? Um, I was alone in a small build. I live alone in a small building with one person living in a unit below me. This is the first party I've had since moving in two years ago, and I'm generally pretty quiet, live alone, like to read and game, etc. Folks started showing up at 6 p.m., and we hung around in the living room, eating, drinking, and listening to mellow music for a few hours. The plan was to leave my house at 11 p.m. and walk downtown to see the fireworks. Around 10.30, several of my guests headed out ahead of us to walk downtown, and as they were leaving, they stood at the bottom of my stairs for five minutes, shouting, shooting the shit and talking. They were pretty drunk and probably being loud, but nobody was fighting or screaming or anything. My downstairs neighbor and her boyfriend came out and asked them to be quiet because they had to wake up at 5 a.m. the next morning for work. I heard them come out and quickly went downstairs to see what was up. I was also pretty drunk at this point, but I told her I was really, really sorry that they woke her up, told the guys to get a move on and get away from her window, which they did, and drunkenly asked her and her boyfriend if they wanted some wine. The boyfriend angrily said no and went back inside and slammed the door. Do you want some wine? (laughs) Yeah. Um, I apologized again to my downstairs neighbor, told her the party would be headed out, ended the convo and went back inside. I felt super guilty and had planned on bringing her a bottle of wine to make up for it. But the next day when I woke up, it occurred to me that it's totally fine and normal to have a party on New Year's Eve. And it was only 1030 p.m. Mm. I ran into her and her boyfriend today as I was going into my place and waved to them. The boyfriend ignored me and pointedly turned away. They're obviously upset, which bothers me, but I'm not convinced I actually did anything wrong. Am I the asshole? Hmm. I don't think so. I think if it was like three in the morning right. and they were being loud and obnoxious, it's 1030 I on know. New Year's Eve. I know. They're playing mellow music. I know. Like, uh, what day of the week is this also like that kind of give like a little play into it if it's like friday or saturday it's a little different i think but like it's new year's eve people like yeah but still well oh i guess they have to work at 5 30 but that's not yeah i don't know but also i i probably i understand why they might be upset below them because i feel like when you're an upstairs neighbor like you don't understand how much noise you're making on the floor so that could also be adding to it just like throw that out there but if it was 10 30 i wonder how late this went to you know what this party went they were leaving at 11 
Oh, but the, I think they, that's totally fair. They left at 1030. Like people started leaving oh. because they were walking downtown to go to like the fire. Okay, and that's stuff. like responsible. I agree. I have next door neighbors that are, they're like renters and yeah. they will throw the most insane yeah. ragers, but they will be done at 10. Yeah. I and I'm like, that's like the nicest thing you could ever do. Not that I really care because I can't hear them in my bedroom, but totally. I'm like, it's like really responsible. I agree. And I think like it's New Year's Eve. It's like New Year's. People are bound to have parties. I'm not going to get mad at someone yeah. for having like a loud ass party. Like people with living in apartments, like that, you just deal you with that like, kind of thing. You have to like get used to that shit. And like, it's good. They voiced their concerns. So like she was aware. Yeah. I think they, everyone did what they should have done. And she apologized. She wasn't like, fuck you. It's New Year's Eve. Yeah. And she felt bad. She offered them wine. Yeah. <laughs> like, which which so like, funny. I think, like, I'm so sorry. Like have a glass of wine. Like obviously yeah. like when you're drunk, whatever. I think that if it was literally like past midnight, 1 a.m., whatever, even still like yeah. a New Year's, that like happens. And that's like just something you have to expect happening on yeah. New Year's. I do think like to everyone's point in the comments, they were like, you should have told them ahead of time. But it's like, sure that would have been like a nice gesture but like it you it's don't new have year's. to do if that if it was like a random tuesday yes, yes let them know but it's new year's yes. i think it's fine they she got marked as the asshole fully every really? comment was you're the asshole huh yeah i don't get it either because I, I would understand if it like you said it was 3 a.m yeah, 4 a.m like even even like 2 a.m 1 a.m i'd be like okay that's like kind of late to be being yeah. loud as hell and i have to work in the morning but like to me i feel like quiet hours are like 7 a.m. to like 11 p.m. or something totally. usually, right? Yeah, people were literally like, most apartment complexes have quiet hours and you need to respect them. And she was like, we, the girl literally said we were listening to like mellow music. <laughs> there were 10 of them. It's not like it was like 30 people. Mm -hmm. So I like what I'm picturing is they're like in her apartment, like drinking wine, eating charcuterie, listening to mellow music, getting ready to, like it doesn't sound like a rager. Uh, yeah, it definitely wasn't a rager. I think it was it just like It could have been noisy adults. though, just by people like, if no, you were wearing heels totally. and stuff, like New Year's outfits, probably Absolutely. was loud, but like- Music wise, still, no. Still, it was only 10.30. Yes. And I think that's, I think that's fair. I think that if like y you're upset about it, like you're a boomer. <laughs> yeah. And I understand like waking up at 5.30 a.m. fucking- 5 a.m., yeah, that sucks. Suck, yeah. but like- It comes with the territory of New Year's Eve. It does. And it's like, I would, if it were me and I had to wait, like I am the, I- Literally, if I had to wake up at 5.30 in the morning, I would think about it for a week straight before I had to do it. Like yeah. I would be dreading it, but I would not be upset at neighbors for being loud until 10.30. No. You know what I mean? I'd be like, okay, this is like normal sort of. Yeah, and I'd be like, this sucks for me, but like- Exactly. I'm getting, like, this is my personal issue. Yes. Of having to wake up this early. And people just don't really take that into consideration. Yeah, sometimes. to be like then mean to her, it's like too much. Remember when we threw that- in insane oh, christmas yeah. party at our old apartment yeah i don't know what time that went until probably very late yeah um our and by the way our apartment the walls were so, so thin. thin you could hear like conversations in other people's apartments it was crazy and our downstairs neighbor, downstairs neighbors left us a note that like we were being too loud but also a bottle of wine which yeah. is like so nice yeah i don't remember what the note said but me neither. Who wrote the note? I'm like, I don't even remember that happening. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Cause I'm like, oh God, yeah. that's so bad. And I also, at the time, I feel like I didn't understand that like how loud it was being totally. an upstairs neighbor. And especially yeah. cause we had like wood floors. And there were so many people. Oh my God. It was like insane. I'm sure people were loud outside. Like it was probably yeah. terrible. I can't even imagine. A boy Carly invited as her date brought a date. <laughs> uh huh. Well, I didn't technically invite him as my date. Yeah, but like. No, I know. I've made TikToks about it already. Don't oh, worry. Oh really? Like in like 2019 probably oh my god yeah weirdo yeah so that's a story for another day <laughs> okay what time is it okay one more sure okay am i the asshole for not wanting to spend the holidays with my sick mother-in-law oh she's, my mother-in-law is covid no i'm kidding <laughs> imagine you're like okay obviously okay. she's just sick she's a sick person she's just disgusting <laughs> she's a hoarder my mother-in-law was diagnosed with terminal cancer last year we were told that it was very serious and we should make the most of our remain remaining time together my husband and i live a 12-hour drive from mother-in-law and father-in-law since the diagnosis we have spent every vacation and holiday with them we either fly or we have to drive as we can't find anyone to babysit our cats <laughs> i get that in total we have spent over a month and a half a month and a half and thousands of dollars visiting them this year. Well, I know that it's important to support my husband as much as I can. I'm starting to spiral. We don't ever really get a relaxing break. We've not been able to save as much as we can. And I've 
started to feel depressed about the lack of control over my life right now. With the upcoming Christmas holidays, I discussed the idea of me visiting my parents, who I haven't seen in six months, while my husband visited his own. My husband was very upset and kept telling me that this could be his mom's last Christmas Christmas with us, and I was being selfish. He told me that his dad was looking forward to me being there and that it would seem like I don't want to spend the holidays with them. I feel guilty that I'm not being supportive as a wife, but I also just feel justified in wanting to see my own family and enjoy a relaxing holiday for the first time in over a year. Am I the asshole? Oh, <laughs> it's a rough one. Oh, yeah. It's and a the rough thing is, I like understand her. Me too. I get both sides of you for completely. Sure. I also think that it's like a situation in which like, it's like different. her husband like needs her yeah. support mm -hmm. um oof. i know it's hard because like sometimes you do have to be selfish and like yeah take the time you need and if she's starting to spiral i think she might be making the right decision for herself totally but it might not be the right decision you imagine for her like the marriage. rest of your marriage though like your husband's like remember when you weren't with me at our I last know. christmas with my mom and like you couldn't just like suck it up no totally i get that i think that's it's why like i can also, see both sides yeah like for me i'm like it's like of course like you're feeling this way but like think of how they're feeling yeah think and how your like, husband is feeling sickness and health baby like you gotta right. suck it up tea yep i just like don't think i could have that on my conscience. i know i would be i would be like yeah like let's see your parents and then like maybe we can plan something where i can go visit my family since i haven't seen them exactly. in a year yeah and like lucky for you your parents will most likely be here next christmas and maybe his won't oh totally and like how sad to, I don't know. I couldn't do it. I'd have to go with him. I would too. I would feel really, really guilty. Yeah. Even though I understand it's like, they've spent so much money. They've been traveling a ton seeing them, yeah. but it's just like, it's just part of life. Totally. And it's, this isn't going to be, this isn't permanent. Like you're doing it for a reason. Yeah. <sighs> I get both sides. Me too. I think no one sucks here. <laughs> no, I think but it's just really tough. It's tough. And it's like, everyone has their own points, but what I think. What did they say? Oh, like, like you're the asshole probably um, not i feel like they probably like no no a-holes here yeah oh so that's like kind of what we said let me look it up and see like what okay. people commented oh edit for info thanks for all the responses for clarification the doctor asked if she wanted to know how long she had left she didn't want to know and neither did father-in-law we don't know if it's months or years unfortunately compromising would be difficult for visiting both as our parents live on opposite ends of the country okay mm. so someone must have holidays sick mother-in-law <laughs> the things i'm searching right now <laughs> holidays sick mother oh, was it mil or mother-in-law oh yeah because it's like oh does she have a month left and like you're being this way or exactly like they don't know someone said like the top one is not the asshole i very much understand how your husband and his parents are feeling but just because it's difficult for them right now doesn't mean it's not also difficult for you can you can you go see his parents and then have some time with your on your yeah. own? You sound burnt the hell out. You need a break. You clearly put a lot of time and effort and funds into making the most of the time you have left with your mother-in-law, but you deserve to have time to look after your own mental and emotional health too. I think that's a good answer. Mm, yeah. This is a thing. Someone said, this is the thing. Nothing is promised. Your parents could die in an auto accident tomorrow and mo his mom could live in a decade more. Go see your family and recharge. <laughs> Oof. It's just tough. I don't know if there's like a correct answer. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there is. I just personally don't think that I could do that to yeah, like personally. my partner. Yeah. I'd be like, they need me. Yeah. But also it's like, but you also have an experience like flying there all the time and like spending money that these people may not have, you know, just totally. to like, so that's added to it. But yeah. yeah, I think no one's an asshole. I think everyone has their own Ugh. solid points. It's a tough one. Yeah. What do you guys think? Yeah, what do you guys think? Let us know. And thank you so much for listening slash watching. We hope you all had a merry, very merry Christmas. Yes. And a happy, happy new year. year. That was beautiful. Subscribe to our Patreon if you want. There's a bonus episodes on there. You get early access to episodes. There's a little chat on there that's very fun. We can talk to you guys like yesterday. Let you guys know that the Patreon is coming up soon. Um patreon.com slash only friends so if you want to subscribe go there and if not our podcast comes out on wednesdays audio and video and we have another podcast called good influences with mike sheffer and matt king that come out every tuesday see you guys next and year and that's it next year bye guys bye